We first told you yesterday how the Iowa High School Music Association had released guidance on how to navigate rehearsals and performances during COVID-19. Here's what some of those guidelines look like. It includes social distancing in rehearsal rooms and even wearing masks while playing an instrument. Local 5's Eva Anderson takes a look at some of the recommendations and the research backing it up. As a high school and college instrumentalist here in Iowa, I was very eager, as well as many of you band parents, to find out what some of the recommendations would be for fall rehearsals. So Thursday, I spoke with researchers who say there's science behind masking up while playing. Caleb's clarinet has been singing since sixth grade. Band gives you opportunities to meet quite a few like-minded people. But with all the like-minded people blowing their horns in his high school ensemble, COVID-19 poses a real threat. This week, Caleb's mom got an email from the band director with some goofy-looking potential solutions. When you looked at the picture, not only did it look ridiculous. An entire clarinet covering, an idea that was put aside. The next day, she received an email about a bell covering and a mask while playing. They sent us a pattern of a mask that essentially has two flaps. Honestly, what these masks look like is a pair of underwear. Yeah. It looks silly, no doubt, but it's part of the experimentation and innovation to play band safely this fall. And masking up while playing has some early scientific research backing it up. Uh, one of the tenets of environmental engineering is keep the the problem as close to the source as possible. Dr. James Weaver with the National Federation of State High School Associations is behind a $250,000 collaborative study to figure out how much particulate matter is emitted when someone sings or plays an instrument. How many, how much aerosol is being emitted out of each instrument or voice? So what we're seeing is most of the aerosols that would be expelled out uh, are caught by the mask and the ones that uh, would go where the hole is are going through the instrument. So they recommend taking a typical surgical mask and an X-Acto knife, cutting a small slit in the mask where the mouthpiece would go, then masking up. Feels a little weird at first, but it works. Mm -hmm. is, a, is a mask with a hole in it gonna raise any concerns? Yeah, so obviously don't wear a mask with a hole in it for just general walking around the hallways, right? We don't wanna see that. Um, but this would be like your performance mask. No matter how strange this all seems, it's a way to get everyone together again. And Caleb's mom is happy this will let him keep tooting his horn. They're trying as best they can to get some sort of normalcy back for our kids. Another thing that the research found was that using a double thick nylon material, like something you would see on hose, to cover the bell of an instrument greatly reduces aerosol emissions. And again, they are just four weeks into a six month long study. There will be more updates next week and we'll be sure to keep you posted. Reporting in Des Moines, Eva Anderson. We are Iowa. Very nice, Eva. Thanks very much. We also are speaking with band directors to hear how they feel about some of these new changes. This is Dr. Carl Rolls. He's a native of Grand Junction, Iowa, and former high school band director here in our state. Now he's the band director at a university in Kansas, and he's been keeping tabs on all of the aerosol research. He says these new changes mean he's going to have to be scrappy this year, but he's excited to see how students will adjust. A little stressed because all my syllabi are due next week. I think that through all this, the students are going to discover stronger versions of themselves. They're going to be able to overcome a lot, especially if, if ensembles are being broken down into smaller groups. We as educators know that chamber music is an incredible teaching tool. And if you like to keep tabs on the study and its developments, visit our website at weareiowa.com where we have the information posted.